how to create a PayPal payment button on your website. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create a PayPal payment button for your website. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, as you can see, I'm on my WordPress dashboard and we are going to use it, this website to create our PayPal payment button so let's get into it now when you first log in into your dashboard into your website's dashboard what you want to do is for wordpress we'll get to other websites in a bit you want to come over here onto the left hand side you want to go ahead and install a plugin all right click on plugins and go to uh, add new plugin this is going to open up the plugin store and over here what you want to do is just simply search for paypal and hit enter give it a couple of seconds and boom here we go so now you have a bunch of different options as you can see we have this option installed right here which is called woocommerce payment what you will need to do is you need to download this plugin you can also download this plugin as well you can even download the woocommerce plugin as well you are going to want to create an account on woocommerce because you are going to sign in and once you've installed it you are going to activate it since it's already installed, since it's already activated, what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here onto the left hand side. We're going to click on plugins. So we need to make sure that we go ahead and install this plugin as well. As you can see, additional plugins are required. So we need to install WooCommerce as well. So as you can see, once it's installed, we need to activate it. There we go. It's activated. Now, if we see, we have a bunch of different options. We have payment options. We have WooCommerce and everything, right? So now what we need to do is we need to open up WooCommerce in another tab like so. And we need to go ahead and create an account over here. Give it a couple of seconds. Now, once that's done, we just simply continue with email. And here we go. So we are now logged in. Now what we need to do is we need to go back over here. As you can see, it already says welcome to Woo. Now we can go ahead and set up our store. So we click on set up my store. Give it a couple of seconds and just answer these questions. And yeah, give your site a name, select the industry, food and drinks. What is the region? Basically complete your profile, click on that. And once it's done, you should be good to go. So as you can see, it's installing all the features. So give it a couple of seconds. And once it's done, just simply click on connect your account and your account is going to connect in a couple of seconds because we already uh, logged in, in over here. And while we're over here, we can add a payment method over here as well into our WooCommerce store. But yeah, so let's go ahead and wait for it to finish and we should be good to go. And we are here now that that's done uh, all that's left for us to do is to add the payment settings so over here you can see you have a bunch of different options we should also have an option of payments uh, over here but if you don't you can just simply find it over here in this uh, little section but since we already have it installed uh, we've already logged in with our account we can just simply go ahead and add a payment settings right here now that that's done, we need to go ahead and add like a proper payment button onto our website, right? So to do that, let's go ahead and visit our site or visit our store. And well, let's go ahead and click on customize. Uh, since this isn't anything like that, this isn't a store or anything like this was a blog website. Uh, I'm just simply going to go ahead and just a simple call to action type button just to portray that we have actually done that. So on the left hand side, you can see you have a bunch of different options, right? Uh, if you click on WooCommerce, you can see you have all these different options. You have single product, product button, card, checkout, product name. Uh, if you click over here in the menus, you have all these different options. If you click on blog, you have the blog options right here. And if you want to edit it with Elementor, you can do that as well. And before we do that, you also have to make sure that WooCommerce plugin, you go into payment section and you fill out all of this, uh, you know, options such as check payments, you enable them, cash on delivery, bank transfer, all of them, and you finish these setups as well. Make sure you do that. And once you've done that, just simply hit changes, save changes, and you should be good to go. So click on finish setup to finish these setups, add your bank accounts and all of that. But yeah, once that's done, you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now I'm going to edit with Elementor because the standard version, I just don't like it. It's confusing. Elementor is way, way more simpler. So we're going to use that. And once it loads up over here, you can see uh, this is basically the card button, right? And here, what you can do is you will see you have a bunch of different options. Here, you can just simply go ahead and add a button like so. And then when you click on that button, you can put the link, all right? 
Now, whenever something happens, you can add the link or your payment button that you can get from WooCommerce plugin, which is like the website, and that should be it. After that, you can just simply go ahead and do that and you are good to go. Just simply add it in, add the link for the button, and boom, you are done. Let's go ahead and show you how you can add a payment button on another website like Wix, right? So for example, let's take this website. For this website, you also have to add different plugins as well but for now we're gonna go ahead and add it open it up over here and here you can see on the left hand side you have all of your main options you have site settings getting paid over here you can add a connect and set up so you have to set up payment method over here look over here pay links are going to be over here pricing and point of sales all of that so click on connect and set up it's going to open up over here here you can set up different payment methods so you can set up uh, over here by clicking on connect payment method and over here you can accept add like a credit card button paypal and stuff like that so very simple uh, make sure you connect them and then you can add the button and connect that button with via links in wix as well so adding the payment method is very simple both in wordpress and in wix as well so uh, once you've done that let's say we go into setup all right and we go to edit the website and for all of this, you know, if you're going to set up payment method in a WordPress website, you're going to have to, as I said before, add WooCommerce as well. There's also plenty of other, uh, I would say, plugins that you can use. Let me go back and show you. Here you can add this one as well. This one literally just, it's a plugin. This one literally adds a button and then you can just set up with a PayPal account. You don't need to add a bunch of other uh, plugins like WooCommerce did but so make sure you can check that out as well so it depends on you uh, but yeah so back over here in Wix uh, you can see we have a button over here we click on add element by clicking on this button right here and here you can see you have a bunch of different options over here uh, you can even search for over here by clicking on the button let's search for uh, PayPal as you can see the PayPal buttons are over here you click over it here and now it'll open up and then you can just simply go ahead and drag and drop these paypal buttons as well these are similar apps that you can install as well so just simply drag and drop wherever you want and just set up your payment method and you are good to go very simple this is how you do it this is how you add a paypal button onto a your website so you can add it on any website as well so having said that that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to help you out in any way i can as soon as possible and also be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video your support to the channel means a lot and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works. We post these types of videos daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content. You will get new content every single day so don't worry about it. So having said that, Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time, take care and goodbye.